in about three or four days from now, on January 31st, there is going to be a sharp cold front coming in from the west. Um, this is going to happen on a Friday. And here in New York City, there is a very good chance that we could have a squall line coming in. This squall line will not be associated uh, with thunderstorms, uh, but will be associated with the cold front itself. Right during the passage of the front, uh, squall, there's going to be a sudden burst of rain uh, preceded by strong gusts of winds from the west-northwest. And these gusts could exceed 50, 60 miles per hour, and it, it should last three to five minutes. But it's going to be raining all day long, and the squall might have some thunder associated with it. And after the squall comes through, there is going to be a lingering rain, and temperatures will be rapidly falling through the 40s and into the 30s. And uh, there is a chance that some sleet or snow might fall towards the very end of the precipitation in New York City. Unlikely. This is more likely north and west of the city, like in the Sussex County, New Jersey, Dutchess County, Ulster County, and upstate New York, and maybe far western Westchester and Rockland counties. But after that, there's going to be a break, and there's going to be some sort of clipper system that's going to come in from the northwest, move into the, into the Great Plains, and then come into the southeast, and then go from southwest to northeast. The GFS showed that low will pass right over New York City. And the low then explodes out to sea. Like, so if New York City's here, the low is going to go like boom and then explode far out. But I think the slow is going to pass south of New York City and New York City is not going to get any snow. Maybe a few flurries. But the GFS showed a possible one-inch scenario in New York City, which I do not think is going to happen. I think that winter for the Northeast for the next three to four weeks is primarily over. If we are going to have any snow, it's going to be towards the end of February, middle to end of February, guys. I mean, I'm sorry. This winter is not working out. Um, all climate, uh, the, the forecast uh, on NOAA.gov, show the NAO or North Atlantic Oscillation going positive, the AO going positive, and the PNA going negative. That is not a good scenario for snow. If you want snow, the PNA has to be positive. The GFS, I mean, not GFS, sorry, NAO has to be neutral or negative, and the AO has to be negative. Uh, Everything is going to work out that way towards the end of February. The the uh, GFS is is might the NAO will be neutral, and uh, the AO or the Arctic escalation might go negative a little bit, slightly negative after a big positive uh, later this week. And the PNA currently is positive, but then it's going to go negative, and then it's going to become positive again towards the end of February. When this happens, we might have a snowstorm, but I don't know if that's going to happen.